Hey everyone, welcome back to I Dream of Indie, Old Gamer Joe coming at you with another review. Today we are looking at Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. This comes from developer Marvelous Incorporated and was published by Xseed Games. It will be releasing on July 14th of this year 2020 and will be priced at $49.99. So I would say this is a little bit of a bigger game than we normally will feature on the channel here, but based on your feedback in the community poll that we recently ran, a lot of you were interested in seeing more niche and double A titles here on the channel to go along with the great indie coverage. And Xseed is a company that really brings over some niche titles all over the world that might not have otherwise made it into your home, so I think they're going to be a nice fit here on the channel. Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town is an interesting one because it's a remake of sorts of a game that came out all the way back in 2003. This is the first time that the franchise has ever appeared on Windows PC, however, as well as on the Nintendo Switch. So if any of you caught my Summer in Mara review a few weeks or so back, you'll know that I hadn't actually delved into farm simulation RPG style games in quite a while. That was my first time revisiting this genre, probably since Harvest Moon all the way back in the 16-bit era. But I have pretty fond memories of the genre, actually growing up on a farm myself, I realize the hard work that goes into it, so when you play a video game version of farming, it's a little bit weird. Growing up on the farm wasn't exactly the most fun experience as a child, I would say, but thankfully Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral town makes farming a whole lot of fun. You'll start the game out by creating a farmer all of your own, though there aren't a ton of options as far as customizing this farmer. You can choose the different gender of your character as well as the skin color, and then you have a few different clothing options to choose from. That's really about it. One day you are summoned by the mayor of Mineral Town, your former hometown, to inherit the farm of which your grandfather used to own. Unfortunately, the farm has seen better days. No longer are animals roaming freely, and crops aren't growing here anymore either. And so you set out on a task to restore this farm to its former glory, perhaps making it better than it ever was before. There's quite a bit to get into here gameplay-wise. You'll begin the game at that farm location, having to deal with the field being overrun with weeds and rocks, and it's your job to clear them out. This will allow you to plant seeds into the soil, and then you'll need to water your crops, hoping that they eventually grow, which can take several days, placing them into your nearby shipping box so that they get picked up around 5.30 on each day, and slowly grinding away, saving up money, and expanding your farm. Outside of basic farming, you'll want to get familiar with the layout of Mineral Town, not a large area. Area, visiting all of the different town folks as well as familiarizing yourself with the various shops which you'll need. There's a chicken farm for example where you can purchase rabbits and chicks and then bring them back to your farm in order to raise them, and a general store too where you can purchase a wide variety of seeds to grow back at the farm. Mineral Town, for a small area, is chock full of personality and great characters to run into. And outside of just hosting your general farming needs, there are occasionally events such as a cook-off or even a horse race for you to participate in. Exploring town is great and all, but you will have to be mindful of your spirit meter in this title, which will wear down as you do more and more activities, such as breaking down rocks or clearing land. If your meter does get low and you feel like you're not yet done with your day, you have a few options. You can eat some food items. Yes, there is a little bit of cooking in this game as well. You can go to bed, and of course that will start the next day, or you can hit up the hot spa and just chill out in there for a while. That will restore some of your stamina as well. As the days wear on in this title, it is a slow, methodical game, really. You will have more and more to worry about and take care of, including chickens, which you can feed in order to produce eggs. Or you might even grab yourself a horse, which you'll have to brush, or a cow to milk. And as if the day-to-day -day farming wasn't enough to worry about, you can also fall in love and get married in this title to either a male or female. So whoever catches your eye in Mineral Town, be sure to chat them up, give them gifts. You might even end up with a family one day. And after all of that, I haven't even touched on the mining yet. Yes, there are mines for you to explore in this title as well. Breaking down rocks and digging deeper and deeper will net you rare materials which you can then use at the forge. This will allow you to better improve your tools as well as create gifts for whoever your love interest might be. I would advise trying to upgrade your watering can as quickly as possible, as doing it square by square can be pretty slow. Yes, there is a lot to take in here, but the control scheme works pretty well and your inventory system isn't half bad either. If you are using a controller, the left stick can be easily used to switch between the variety of different tools that you have, and the right stick shuffles through some of your different items, like your chicken feed which you'll need to place. And there is a pretty easy to understand square grid-like system to this title, which shows you exactly where your seeds are going to be planted or where you're swinging it mostly works well. Man, explaining all of that was more stressful than actually playing the game because once you're into a loop with this title, you're going to find that it is a relaxing, enjoyable experience for the most part. 
It was fun to walk around town and flirt with different individuals, as well as see your crops come to life. It can take a while, and you will need to water them daily for the best results. But man, does it feel satisfying when you put in all of that quote-unquote work and then earn a nice heap of cash. Graphically Friends of Mineral Town does seem like it would be a good fit on the Nintendo Switch because it has the look of a first-party Nintendo game in a lot of ways, particularly it reminded me of the Animal Crossing series. Again, I was playing the Steam version of the game, and I was a little startled at first because everything was in Japanese for some reason, but I was eventually able to navigate the different settings and turn it into English. A little bit of a scare there. And there aren't a ton of settings to go through outside of resolution in a low, medium, or high. I was able to play the game maxed out, and it didn't look particularly great or anything. A very simple clean art aesthetic here. Maybe it seemed a little bit foggy at times or a little bit washed out, but overall pleasant enough gets the job done. Some of the character portrait art is actually really nice. The game's sound effects, however, are cute and charming for the most part, and there's some great music that's going to get stuck in your head for sure. My only complaint would be that you do hear these songs a lot over and over again throughout a season. But because of the addicting nature of this game, expect to catch yourself humming along with some of these tunes after a while. I certainly caught myself doing so. Overall though, not a bad presentation whatsoever. I'm a little bit of a sucker for 2D pixel art and I might have preferred that for this remake, but for the most part, it's still a solid presentation with some really memorable songs. I have to say, it wasn't long before the hours were whizzing by in this one. I was pretty addicted, if I'm going to be honest with you. I always found myself looking forward to the next day in this game, whether it be to see how my crops were doing, or what fun event might be taking place in town. Obviously, being a farming sim first and foremost, this title won't be for everyone, but if you are a fan of that genre, this one really does hit the nail on the head in almost every regard. It probably has everything that you're looking for out of that genre. The first few hours will feel a little slow, but it won't be long until you're taking a look at your watch in the real world wondering where your day went. We hope that you enjoyed this review today of Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button below as well as the notification bell so that you can keep up with all we're doing. There's also a description box down below for you to check out with a ton of other ways to support I Dream of Indie. However you end up supporting us though, we thank you so much for doing so.